hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm gonna be doing a hot oil treatment on my hair and i'm also gonna be applying a deep conditioning mask so stay tuned i'm starting on an old wash and go and the way that i'm able to tell that it's time to do a hot oil treatment again is whenever my scalp is starting to itch a bit more than usual and when my curls start looking a bit dull now the first thing i did was split my hair up into sections and I know that water and oil don't mix, but to be able to detangle my hair, I absolutely have to use some water. So water is what you see me spray my hair and then I just detangled my hair and twisted it section by section to get it out of the way for now. Now my oil mixture has olive oil, coconut, black castor and almond oil in it and I know that each oil has its own benefits and uses but I'm gonna keep it 100 with you guys. I've never done any research on these oils. I just use what works for me and this has been working for years. It's never done anything negative for my hair so I'm gonna keep using it. <laughs> so I just warmed up the oil mixture and poured it into a small application bottle and this bottle actually is from an old hair dye box that we just use for oil application now so it's a multi-purpose bottle okay. I started applying the oil mixture on my scalp first and you can see that I'm really working it in making sure to give my scalp a good massage after applying the oil and then I work the oil into the rest of my hair as well. Basically I just covered the whole section in oil and gave my scalp a good massage and that's all I did for all the sections. So after applying the oil all over my hair, I put my hair up into a plastic bag to trap in the heat because I sat with a hooded dryer for 30 to 40 minutes before rinsing it out. Now we're in the shower and I'm getting ready to wash my hair. So first I unraveled all the twists I made. And yeah, that's the one. <laughs> I'm getting my hair soaking wet first before grabbing the shampoo. Today I decided to use this Shea Moisture Strengthen and Restore Shampoo. And I use this one specifically because it says on the bottle it's a clarifying shampoo and I really needed that today to make sure I rinse all the oil out of my hair otherwise my hair will be way too greasy and I'm not looking forward to that. 
Now this was actually my first time using this shampoo and it's so foamy and thick. I absolutely love it. But the next time I'll use way less products. Now I know what's up. <laughs> And I'm really working this shampoo in, making sure to give my scalp a good scrub using my fingertips. And I actually forgot to use my little massaging brush, but it's cool. My fingers did the job just fine. Now for deep conditioner, I use the Shea Moisture Strengthen and Restore Treatment Mask and on the back of the label it says that you can use this mask and sit under a warm dryer for 10 to 15 minutes so that's exactly what I did. I split my hair up into smaller sections again, really working the mask through all my hair strands. I don't really focus on my scalp too much when using conditioner and masks and these things. I like to apply those mostly on the shaft of my hair. After applying the mask all over, I wrap my hair up into a plastic bag again to trap in the heat while sitting under a hooded dryer for 10 to 20 minutes. After rinsing out the mask, this is what my hair looks like. It feels really clean, moisturized, and I actually have some type of curl definition going on without any product in my hair. So yeah, all the good stuff. We have come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed watching, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.